my mother is a true example of one of this country's natural resources. When I speak of natural resources, I don't mean bauxite or tourism or anything like that. I speak of the power of a strong Jamaican woman. Every day, you're filling people's prescriptions. People come in because they're sick. They need to get better. And they come to you, and you dispense what it takes for them to get better. But what about you? What is it in your life that needs some, some medication? But it's for you to be honest with yourself, right? And once you've discovered what the diagnosis is, what's your treatment, the next thing you have to do is do what? Take the medicine. So whatever you write on that piece of paper, whatever you commit to, you need to stick to it. Okay, you know that the red blood cells lives about 120 days. So when patients come to you and they tell you, oh doctor, why are you making me take so much blood tests? All these blood tests, I'm going to run out of blood. No, you're not. Because the blood cells will live for 120 days and they regenerate, right? So every day about 0.8% of these cells die. And so what happens is that iron is released. The iron then is bound to transferrin, which takes it back to the bone marrow where more red blood cells are being produced. You need to be able to be aware of the way they communicate. So you have to take special note of what we call the three V's of communication, verbal, vocal, and visual. They say that your nonverbal cues speak a thousand words. So we have to be careful of that. Our stance, do we fold our hands? What is our approach when we are communicating with others? Persons can say, you know, why are you angry? Because they've picked it up already from the tone. And visually, how are we communicating? For the first time, uh, as a pharmaceutical company, as a responsible pharmaceutical company, we are seeing an N group of pharmacies coming for this kind of program. Uh, we're really happy and we like to partner with MDS in the upcoming CE program. And the second, thanks Lisa uh, for this excellent presentation on the interpersonal skills. I can see a lot of uh, people are really uh, you know, encouraging themselves to learn more about the interpersonal skills and everything. If we think about the relationship between medicine or conventional medicine and non-medicinal approaches, if we look at us as partners in this thing called health or health care, we have a much better chance of, of achieving good, successful outcomes for our patients. Hyperhidrosis, referred to as HH, is a disorder of uncontrollable, extreme, episodic, unexpected sweating beyond what is considered to be normal or is necessary to maintain thermal homeostasis or as a reaction to stress. But guess what, guys? There is hope. Dry soil is actually marketed in um, a dab-on formulation as well as a solution. At MDS presently, we have the dab-on formulation. The product in and of itself is actually used as one application per night for three nights consecutively in the initial days of use. Once you have achieved a certain level of management with the excessive sweating, you can then apply for one or two nights per week. Pretty much also gauging as you need in terms of what you're seeing. What is vagina? Goal. Men are digging for it, women are digging for it, everybody wants it, they want to be rich. The vagina is gold, 24 karat, all right? Precious, precious material. Precious material. Women feel empowered because it's precious, it's expensive. Right? So you need to maintain it. In my household, I'm the son of a gynecologist and a pediatrician. We use this word very freely. Right? When I was five years old, I said, I want to be a vaginecologist. <laughs> All right? So this word was not a bad word, but some people have problems saying this word up to today. Hi, my name is Angela Turner Dawkins. I'm a freelance pharmacist right now and this was a really lovely session. It was the time went by really quickly. The speakers were very engaging, very informative. The host was amazing. Terry Carell Reed, she's something else. MDS, great job. I commented on the evaluation form that it was the best 
CE that I've ever been to. It as it has actually contributed to me as a wholesome person and not just the cliche topics that we hear all the time. So it was wonderful and I'm leaving well empowered. I basically came here to present and leave and I'm still here. So that speaks for itself. Topics were very, very interesting and very well executed. My experience today at the MDSCE was a Second to none, it was the best thing to start off 2020. I'm sure that it will help me with my goals because it empowered me so much. It was really intuitive, interactive, it was fun, and it was very educational. Thank you, MDS. I am almost speechless, but I just want to add just my little bit of thank you. Heartfelt thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you have done for me over the years. I want to thank you for your support. Thank you for your encouragement and thank you for always being with us. I look forward to continued working together and giving us the opportunity to serve you. Thanks again.